But I feel like I am. Don't they know I'm a celebrity up in this bitch? It's like a hidden treasure. Hey guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome. Why do I always do this? Hey guys. <laughs> So today we are going to be vlogging. You guys are going to follow me around today. I've got to go to Kirkland's to go pick up this mirror. <sighs> I'm very nervous about it. We'll talk about it in the car. Um, then I want to go to at home as well to kind of finish the whole decor process. I don't know if I want to eat out lunch or if I'm going to eat it here. I really don't know what I'm going to do. We're just going to see when we go out get out there what we're gonna do but let's go ahead and let's not waste any more time let's go before we get into the car and go to the fun places i do want to say a huge thank you to sutera for sponsoring this video this is their bath stone and i absolutely love it so benefits of this bath stone are it's natural and sustainable it inhibits mold and bacteria, it's anti-slip, it's ultra-absorbent, -absor it's long-lasting, eco-friendly, multi-use, quick dry. I absolutely love this. It's hard and I did not think that I was going to like something that wasn't really kind of sink your feet into but if you think about it when you get out of the shower you are soaking wet, at least I am, and that's where I dry off on and there is just so much mold and bacteria that gets trapped into those mats and honestly I don't really wash mine a whole lot so this one is perfect it also doesn't really get dirty but if it does you can just wash it really lightly with some warm water and wipe clean with a sponge and allow to dry and for heavier stains you can buff the surface with the sandpaper that they have enclosed until the stain is removed or you can use a small amount of bleach rinse and dry so yeah I absolutely love this bath stone you never have to experience a soggy moldy synthetic mat again and this is really great natural mineral and it's breathable and gentle on the skin so highly recommend this it's going to be linked down below in the description box along with any discount codes as well now let's get in the car and let's get to shopping so we are headed to Kirkland's. I am a bundle of nerves. Y'all are gonna think I'm crazy, but so I ordered this mirror and it's perfect, okay? But if you guys did not know, I didn't know this, a friend told me this. Um, Kirkland's, if you're looking for a full length mirror, Kirkland's is the place to go, okay? However, Kirkland's also does not ship their full-length mirrors you have to go pick them up <gasps> i'm nervous because i'm like what if it doesn't fit number one number two is there someone that's going to be there that can help me because this mirror is probably going to be heavy and as you can see it's just me so i don't know i'm really freaking nervous i do not like the way that my stomach is feeling right now i'm like is it because i'm nervous because of this because this anxiety for for this is just weird I don't know I'm, I'm feeling some type of way but anyways we are on our way and I will update you guys I hope that some sometime in this vlog I will be able to show you guys this beautiful mirror that we're on our way to pick up y'all it barely i am shaking oh my gosh i am so like i was so nervous like i literally <coughs> excuse me literally woke up at like 4 30 this morning <coughs> freaking out about this this mirror wondering if i was gonna be able to get it in the car or not i'm like literally shaking uh it barely fits you guys barely and i paid 120 dollars for this thing I'm going to link it down below because it is a beautiful, beautiful mirror and it is, I would not, like I would, I would think that you would, it would be like a $300 mirror, like no joking. It is so beautiful and I got it in. Now I'm just going to have to wait for my son to get home so we can carry it up 
the stairs because your girl's not doing that. <laughs> it, but I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh. I love it. Do you guys see it? It's literally right here. I had to like come up and like hold it. I asked the guy, I was like, is there anyone that can help me? He's like, no, I'm the only one here. I was like, fine. I'll do this myself. I'm a strong, independent woman. But y'all know what? I'm gonna be real for a minute. I'm kind of tired of being a strong, independent woman. Like, I, I don't know. Some days, I'm here in the city, and I absolutely love being alone, and I love, you know, that I'm finding myself doing the thing, like, the internally healing and, like, doing all the things that I need to do to heal. And then there's days like today where I want nothing but a friend to go hang out with and shop with and go to lunch with. Also, this Gabby case, it's really had me for the past few days in a really bad place. And I talked about some things in therapy that brought up some things. So I'm not... I guess not doing my best. Um, it's like I was telling myself in the shower, like, Jill, like, you can't run from your past, but you don't have to let it continue and keep defining you. Like, I don't understand how trauma works, but I do know that there are things that trigger me, and the Gabby case big time triggered me. And it triggered some events that I have never talked about that I will maybe talk about one day um because I shared a little bit of my story with my therapist this past Wednesday and she told me wow you need to be a domestic violence advocate and I said that's my goal one day but I said I can't do it until when I tell these stories I don't feel what I'm feeling right now I'm just feeling some type of way this week y'all but it's gonna be okay today is just one of those days I think I think because of the whole Gabby thing and the, the fact that I've been triggered I feel a little bit like I want to be babied on you know loved on loved on I want to be loved on I also want someone to drive me around this place so I can just look you know I want to be an observer for once and not be the one that's always freaking driving that's something else too because I'm like I want to see all this stuff but like ooh, earth fair but I can't see half of it because I'm driving and I have to pay attention I keep asking God like when you know because I was listening to Joyce Meyer this morning and she talked about losing friends and stuff and being patient being patient with friends and literally as I was saying God where are my friends like where are my friends where are my people she literally said be patient <laughs> i was like okay okay god i got it okay like okay but how, but how, but how much longer do you <laughs> like how much longer do i really have to keep being patient that's what i wanted to ask and that's what was in my head he knows this was in my heart but i know i know that he has a really big plan and i know something as big is gonna happen i just am like when I'm ready for it. I'm so ready. And, you know, they always say, you feel like you're ready for something and you're really not, so maybe I'm not ready. Maybe I'm not ready to share my time with someone right now. Maybe I'm not ready to have to be a friend to someone, you know? Maybe I'm not. But I feel like I am. What's back here? What? What is that? Oh, there's Crackle Barrel. Ooh. There's an eye fly. What is that? Oh, there's BJ's. What, what else is back here? It's like a hidden treasure. I found it. It's big and it's beautiful. It's into the parking Beauty lot. Beauty Depot. That is a huge place. What's in there? I gotta go. Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, my kids used to love Chuck E. Cheese. This thing is huge. Can y'all see this? This is the parking lot for your destination. Oh my gosh, it is huge. Oh, and look. Oh my gosh, it's sparkling. It's like the lights are like glitter. 
like rhinestones. Do you see that beauty? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty, y'all. One day, I'm telling you, one day I will be riding in one of those. I was at the wrong place at the right time. Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes. We were conversing into the night sky. When you took my hand, said, let's leave now. Don't wanna be shy. I will let my guard down. Don't wanna be shy. I will let my guard down. I wanna love out loud. Talk a little deeper, kiss a little harder. about everything that was on our mind Talking to you gave me butterflies Then you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy you guys oh my gosh that store I don't even know how long I was in there for oh no my earring just fell out thank god the back is so on I'm like what was that um that store I, I can't the escalator is still in front of me that's how amazing that store is. I mean, the person that drives it could be an employee. But, whoa. I literally walked this whole entire store. Just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Of course, I'm going to give you guys a haul. And I'm hoping, buy Escalade. What did I say I was going to name my Escalade when I got it? Esky? Elsie? Uh, Elsie. Elsie? I think that was it. I don't know. Anyways, I will definitely show you guys a haul when I get back. Um, because wow. Just wow. Turn right. I'm still in fast. like total disbelief and shock. Still my parking spot. Damn, Audie. You should be ashamed of yourself. Don't you know that that's mine? Don't you know that that is mine? Jeez. I mean, people, like, hello. Don't they know I'm a celebrity up in this bitch? Come on. <sighs> How dare they? Here is everything that I got. I got these two candlestick holders, which have these little disco ball things on the bottom. And I bought these flameless candles to go with it. I think those are really cute. And I got this throw for the couch to go over right there. Hopefully it's gonna work. Obviously I still have, ooh, I still have that white one. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it there or not. We'll see, but I got that for the couch. Um, can you tell that Jill has a style <laughs> that she very rarely strays from? Uh, pick this up. I'm not sure. I'm really undecided. This table has been driving me nuts. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I think I'm going to put this right here, especially because it's like wood on wood. I feel like this needs to be more glam and I need to find, I can just put my diffuser in my kitchen. Yeah, put it in my kitchen, or I could always put it on the other side over here by the security camera. Oh, and then I got this. This is so freaking pretty. I love it. I'm like, I literally have no use for a clock, but it is pretty. 
So I'm gonna put the battery in there and I'm gonna get it going. And I think this is gonna go in my bedroom. And I also think that these are also going to go in my bedroom. This is much more like it, 100%. That is beautiful. It is perfect and yeah. Okay, go comment down below, please. And let me know, crystal thing in the middle, no crystal thing. Which would you do? It's really pretty and it's perfectly glam for this. But then I don't know, does it fit? Does it go? Let me know in the comments down below. It didn't have such a rainbow tinge to it. I'd be like, yes, I think that's what's throwing it off for me. Okay, are you guys ready? It is so perfect. Oh my gosh, it's so, so perfect. All right, I'm not gonna make you wait, make you wait no longer. Oh my gosh, okay, ready? One, two, three. Let me actually step back so you guys can see it. I love it, I absolutely love it. This is the beautiful mirror. And do y'all see how like, there's like this much, this much, like it is pretty much the whole length of this wall, which I absolutely, absolutely love. So this is my beautiful mirror. I love it. Here's a sneak peek of what I'm working on right now. Which of course, as you can see, it's crockpot recipes. Maybe you weren't able to see, but yes, I'm working on printing out and finding a bunch of crockpot recipes. This one's harder than I thought. I'm doing beef because I'm, last time I did chicken, if you guys wanna see that, I'll link down below. But this one is all beef and I'm gonna see how these ones do. The chicken one was good, but I'm like, the beef one's gonna be, my wallet's gonna be like, hey, what are you doing? <laughs> but it's gonna be okay. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm working on right now. I'm actually waiting on Ava, because she just went to the bathroom. And I wanna go do my Britney's dan Britney, Britney dance over there in that room. And then head on home. I don't know what I'm making for dinner. Oh no, printer has an error. A oh, why? <gasps> Load paper. Okay, I'll be back, bye. So I just came back from the little business center and there, it is a beautiful day outside. I don't know, it's like 70 degrees out. It is so, so, so pretty. Oh, wait. I don't want them. Just wait for us. I don't want them. There's so many people at the dog park, so we're gonna take Bella to the dog park. And Contrell is like, he's he's more friends with them than I am. Literally, not even kidding. Huh? Alright, bye. Not even kidding. He is like more friends with the people at the dog park than we are. Um, or than I am, but we're gonna go there. I'm just waiting on Ava right now. And I'm also gonna fill up my water bottle. It is currently 5.38, sorry, the light. But um, I totally forgot to take this cardboard down to the recycling when I took Ava, or when I went to go get Ava. But it's been a really good day. I even had time for a little, like 15 minute nap earlier but um yeah I'm gonna go do that I should get some footage hopefully You did so good. 
Yes, you did. She worked up an appetite too, huh? Yeah, did you work up an appetite? Little girl's hungry. So that's going to do it for this video. Huge thank you to Sutera for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to go down below in the description box for the link to their bath stone. I absolutely love it and I know you will too. So link is down below along with any discount codes or anything else that's going to coincide with that. I hope that you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new here. Or if you aren't new here and you've just been watching and you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.